Thank you, Molly. For many of us, when we think of school, we remember textbooks, pencil, paper, listening to a teacher's lecture. But students learn in so many unique ways these days. And tonight we introduce you to a remarkable class at Manlius Pebble Hill, where they're learning to problem solve as a team, learning engineering and math skills in a way that's not only educational, but fun. And it's clear they're making the grade here in Central New York. Step inside this classroom at Manlius Pebble Hill and you will find a room bustling with curiosity. Third and fourth graders putting their skills to the test. Young minds working hard together as a team. And the students let me jump in on the action to test out their creations. I like working as a team with my friends. Ten-year-old Raphael Jennings is busy building an arcade with his group using cardboard, popsicle sticks and scissors to create their game from scratch. And an amazing comeback by Adrian. Interacting with each other to learn how to work around problems that pop up. We couldn't get the ball to roll back to the person, so we had to uh, make a cardboard platform and angle it. So you have to kind of just problem solve your way around it. But this project is far from arts and crafts. These students are using math and science skills in their tinkering projects. I learned how to measure better because we have to do lots of measuring in the project. It's hands-on learning, teaching them measurement, ratios, and giving them the tools they need to become lifelong learners. They all had to have a math tie-in. Um, and then it was really just about construction and trial and error and figuring out how to change variables. Kendall Hoekstra is the head of the lower and middle schools at MPH and is amazed by what these students have created and accomplished. There's a time, she says, for textbooks, but learning like this, she hopes, will better prepare them for the real world, giving them the skills they need to succeed. And that's what we hear all the time right now about the millennials and the job force is that, you know, they're not ready to take on these new tasks and collaborate. They're ready to do things like, you know, look at a computer screen and make Excel spreadsheets and they're prepared to do that, but they're not prepared for the creativity that we need. And this, you know, our groups of kids here, they're prepared for that. It's practical, hands-on learning to prepare them for the future because we no longer live in a world of cubicles and big screen computers. We know we're not preparing kids for that anymore. Google doesn't look anything like that. And so now we're preparing kids to be problem solvers and to be hands-on thinkers and to collaborate with one another. Working together, thinking outside the box to build their own creations and creating future leaders, innovators, and entrepreneurs at the same time. Oh. Sometimes it's hard, so you can talk and problem solve together. They're a remarkable mm, group yeah. of students. So sharp. They are so sharp, and they are really well on their way to becoming these future leaders. Love the approach. Coming up on NBC3 News at 5. Not